Hi, I'm Kay Choi. Welcome back to my channel. As you probably know, if you're subscribed to my channel, I travel a lot for work, so I am all for anything that will make that more convenient and easier. So for me, one of the most important things is to have a very good travel bag, particularly a good carry-on bag that I can use while I travel and while I go to meetings for work. So today I wanted to do a classic what's in my bag featuring my favorite travel bag. This bag might look familiar to you if you've seen some of my week in my life as a consultant vlogs as well as my video about my favorite travel accessories but it is a little bit different. This bag is from Lowen Sons which I've been a customer of for several years and they make really great travel accessories and products and it's version 2.0 of this bag, which I have featured in videos before. Again, I've been a Lowen Sons fan and customer, and they were kind enough to send me this OG2 bag, which again is the new and improved version of the bag that I already had. Now this video isn't sponsored, but they did send me this bag and they gave me a discount code, which I will leave right here on the screen and the description box. So feel free to use that if you are also looking for a great travel bag. I'm honestly just really excited to be able to share that because I had lots of friends and and other people like who have messaged me on Instagram, you know, looking for a discount code or something like that. So really happy to offer that to you all. So I just got back from a work trip to Denver a few days ago and I haven't really cleaned out my bag and I have another trip coming up to Houston in a couple of days, uh, but I do like to just kind of clean out my bag in between trips just so that I don't start accumulating things that I don't need to be carrying. I will leave a link in the description box where I talk about the original OG bag, um, but I will point out some of the differences between this one and the previous one. Um, first one being that the laptop compartment is outside the bag. So in version one, you had to open this main compartment up in order to take out your laptop. And it would sometimes be really difficult, especially if your bag was full. But now that the laptop compartment is out here on the side, it's much easier to access, especially if you have a lot of things in your bag and if your bag is under the seat in front of you on an airplane and you need to take out your laptop, it's just so much easier to pull it out from its own dedicated compartment. So here's my laptop with bunch of little stickers on it. People always ask me what laptop this is and I honestly, I never know. It's a Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon. Now I do have a personal MacBook, so that's what I use to edit all my videos and just for my personal use, uh, but I do like having a non-Mac for work. It just works a lot better with Outlook apps and things like that. So that's all I have in this outside laptop compartment. Let's move on to the inside. You can see here that there are a lot of different compartments in here. There's a zipper compartment there. There's some pockets. There's the main compartment and then you can see another pocket that goes all the way across the bag. Um, on the bottom there. An improvement that they made on this from the previous version is that there is now a water bottle holder um, inside the bag. That one I think is a really subtle but very good change because I usually like to travel with a book so that in case I'm not doing any work on the plane, I can read a book or something to pass the time. And I was traveling, you know, with a brand new book that I hadn't started to read yet in my original Low and Sons OG bag. And I didn't quite close the lid on my water bottle all the way. And then my water bottle tipped over and it got this book all wet. And I actually sat in my bathroom or stood in my bathroom rather and blow dried every single page because I was just determined to save this brand new book, which now looks like it has just seen a lot. So now that there is a water bottle holder inside the bag, I don't really have to worry about my water bottle tipping over and getting everything wet. So thank you Low and Sons for adding that feature. Okay, now let's see what's inside here. I have some papers, which I can't really show you, but this is from um, the meeting that I had in Denver. We were testing a workshop discussion thing of sorts. So that was just a copy of the content. I also have this notebook, which is actually a pretty nice notebook. It's from the brand uh, Shinola. And I got this because I helped facilitate a workshop at University of Michigan um, with some of my coworkers. So they gave this to us as a thank you. Got my laptop charger, which I have my initials on. 
because I just don't want to lose it. So this has helped because I've left this behind and people have brought it back to me because my initials were on it. So still in the main compartment, um, I have a kind bar. If you are a Delta flyer, then this probably looks familiar to you. It's one of the snack options they have. I have my wireless mouse for my laptop, my little toiletries, emergency, like whatever pouch. I have some Advil, some eye drops, chapstick. I have this like um, cooling patch, which I actually got in my marathon like race kit when I did the Detroit marathon a couple of weeks ago. So I stuck that in there, some band-aids, hand sanitizer, a sewing kit. I'm kind of impressed by how much I have in here. And the last thing in the main compartment before I get to the smaller pockets inside is a roll of masking tape or artist tape. And this is super useful to have when you're having meetings and you might have posters or things to hang up. Also, I have my initials on the inside of the roll, although that one is not as noticeable and hasn't really helped me yet, but can't hurt. So that was the side pocket and the main compartment. Now going to the smaller pockets inside. I have my pencil case and inside got some pens, sharpies, and highlighters. And I also have my receipts in here um, because they were getting a little too thick to put into my wallet. So I moved them to my pencil case. So I need to keep those to do my expense report. And in that pocket, I also have a Denver Beer Company coaster. Um, again, I was just in Denver and stopped by a bar and I like to pick up coasters because I can actually use them. And then it just reminds me of different places I've been and they the bartender saw that I was taking a coaster and then also gave me this free sticker which is essentially it's identical but it's a sticker version of the coaster and then in the smaller of the two pockets on the side I have a hotel key and hotel map um, should have left the key at the hotel but I accidentally took it with me um, so I will get rid of those all right and the last thing is this little gum foil. I actually don't know. Is there gum inside here or is it just... Okay, it's just the foil. I was going to be really grossed out if there was gum in there. That is it for all the open compartment space there. I do have one more zipper compartment at the top and in there I have a battery pack. This one I've had for I feel like I have, I've had this for like four years and it's lasted me all this time. It works really great. It's this many, I don't know what that unit of measurement is, but I essentially get, um, I think one and a half to two charges out of this. Highly recommend this if I can find it on Amazon or something, I'll link it below. And it also has two USB ports so you can charge more than one device at a time. Now, this is the back side of the bag, which actually is a luggage handle sleeve. So you can slip your bag onto your luggage and you don't have to hurt your back. There's also a side zipper compartment here where you can store some shoes. And this is unchanged from the previous version. The old uh, version of this bag always had this. I used to use this a bit more. Now I don't because I just tend to travel light and only take one pair of shoes with me, but definitely a convenient option. In this front compartment, nothing has really changed between this version and the previous version. Um, this one also has a zipper compartment as well as some other little pockets in there, places to hold pens and other smaller items. Don't have too much in here right now. I have um, this pack of gum that has definitely seen better days. Um, I have one that fell out too on its own, so sorry. Got my wallet. Um, I think it's been about a year or so, maybe a little less that I switched to just using this type of small wallet. And I'm obviously like stuffing this um, to the brim, but I like having a smaller wallet like this. Although Low & Sons does have a travel wallet that is not quite like the, what is it, continental size, um, but it's obviously bigger than this. So I am considering getting that. So I might need to use my own discount code and get that for myself. But for now, um, I still do really like having the small wallet. This is just one from Coach that I got at an outlet 
many many years ago i usually have some pens and things in this but i because i only recently switched to this new version um, of this bag I haven't quite put everything in there yet. The last two things that are in here are these headphones. So these are my AirPods um, with this nice peachy coral case on it. And then in this little kind of traditional Korean kind of pouch, I have my headphones that go directly into my phone with this um, headphone jack. So I keep these just in case my AirPods are out of battery and I need to switch to these headphones. I normally also have a third pair of headphones in here, but those are not in my bag right now because I took them out to edit a video um, yesterday. But those would normally be in here, so I would normally have three pairs of headphones. Thank you, Apple. And that is it. I don't have anything in this small um, zipper compartment in the front pouch. If I'm traveling internationally, I'll usually have my passport in there because I keep my wallet in the front, so it makes sense for me to also keep my passport in this front pocket, but then I want it to be a little bit more secure, so I put it into that zipper um, compartment. So that's what's in my bag. I have to say I absolutely love all the improvements that were made to this bag. The biggest one actually being that they fixed this strange problem with the previous bag where it would lean on its side. They fixed it with this one and because of that it looks like it's a lot taller than the original bag and so I was initially concerned that this wasn't going to fit nicely in an airplane um, in the seat in front of me but it actually fits perfectly. I think it was kind of like an optical illusion because the old bag used to lean on its side so it would look like it was getting squished under the seat and so I was like well this one is taller because it stands up straight and so it definitely won't fit but it does and it's actually nice because it stands up straight so I can actually push it to the side or in the middle and have more room for my feet um, under the seat in front of me. Overall I'm really happy with all the improvements that Low and Sons made to this bag. Um, one that I forgot to mention right now is there is this strap which the other bag also has but this one they added a padded um, you know Thing, um, on the outside. So that's great because these leather straps um, are comfortable for the most part, but if you have a lot of things in your bag, it could be a little bit, you know, not as comfortable because they are kind of these hard leather straps. And so it's nice to have the padding on this on this messenger strap on the bag. Now I gotta repack this bag and also just pack for my next work trip, but thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you again, Low and Sons, for sending me the OG2 and for also providing me with a discount code. Again, if you use Christina Choi at checkout, you can get 30% off a full priced item. So please go ahead and use it and enjoy. As always, thank you so much for watching. I think I just said thank you for watching, but thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next one.